today is we're going to look at naming all the relationships. And what that means is we are going to start by looking at the corresponding angles. Okay, and corresponding means that you're looking here and I've got two sets of lines. I've got the top line, okay, the top parallel line and the bottom parallel line crossed by my transversal. If I look here, I'm going to look for the angle that corresponds with angle 1. And angle 1 is in the top left position. So I'm going to look down at my second parallel line, and the one in the top left position is angle 5. So those are corresponding pairs. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Top right position here. So I'm going to look down here at my second parallel line, and the one that is in the same spot, in the corresponding spot, is angle 6. Then I've got angle 3 in the bottom left corresponds with angle 7. And then I've got angle 4, which is in the bottom right, and angle 8. Okay, now I want to make sure that we look at the alternate interior angles. Okay, an alternate interior, if I'm looking at the interior, okay, interior of a house means the inside. So I'm going to look here, and I'm going to look on alternate or opposite sides of the transversal, which is that line that goes this way. So I'm going to have angle 3, and the opposite side is angle 6. So angle 3 and angle 6. And then I've got another pair of 4 and 5. Okay, and just like I have alternate interior angles, I also have alternate exterior angles. And exterior is outside. So I'm going to put my alternate exterior. Okay, so on the left side, I have angle 1, and I'm going to go to the bottom set, and I'm going to go to the right. Okay, because remember I started up here at the left, so the opposite side is here. So angle 1 and angle 8, and then I've got angle 2 and angle 7. Now why in the world did we look for all of these different relationships? Okay, we looked here to find all of these because the corresponding, the alternate interior angles and the alternate exterior, they are all equal. So all of these pairs, angle 2 and angle 5, those are the same angle measures as long as we have parallel lines. Okay, so let's look at this one. Let's put that into practice. In the figure, A is parallel to B and the measure of angle 1 equals 34. So I could put that here. What is the measure of angle 7? So I'm looking at this one. Okay, they give us angle 1. So what pops into my mind first is, hey, those are both outside. They're both outside those lines. So I'm going to cover up the middle just so it gives me a little bit less to look at. When I look at those two angles, 
I notice they're on opposite sides of that transversal. Those are alternate, and they're outside exterior angles, which means that they are congruent or equal. So if the measure of angle 1 is 34, the measure of angle 7 also equals 34. Okay, let's look down here at our next one. J is parallel to K, and the measure of angle 1 is 53. What is the measure of angle 4? Oh, well, both of these are in our top, are on our top parallel line. So, I'm not going to have those angle pairs that we just mentioned, but Look what I notice. I see that this angle and this angle, they make this straight line. The total of a straight line is 180 degrees. So if they give me the, the measure of angle 1, I can plug it in. So all I have to do is take the 53 over to the other side, and I get the measure of angle 4. Is 127. So sometimes you don't get those angle pairs, but you do get them where they're right next to each other, where they're supplementary. Okay, let's try this one. In this figure, A and E are parallel, and M and N are parallel. And the measure of angle 1 is 78 degrees. What is the measure of angle 3? So the first thing I need to look at is which transversal am I looking at? Well, I see that both of these are touching line A. So this line E down here can just go away. Okay, so I would like to turn my paper a little bit just so that I can see these a little bit better. They're both outside of these parallel lines, which means they're exterior, okay, and they're on opposite sides. And if I remember my rules, alternate exterior are equal. So if angle 1 is 78, angle 3 is 78 degrees.